On Wednesday, May 29th, U.S. Representative Juan Siscomani capped off his day in the Gila Valley with a trip to an Indrip-supplied cotton field in Bryce, just outside of Pima. Indrip provides precise irrigation utilizing its gravity-fed drip system to provide higher yields with less energy and water. Siscomani heard straight from the farmer and Indrip regional technical manager Clifton Isom about how the Indrip irrigation system saves water and energy. Farmer J.R. Howard said he had roughly 30 acres on the Indrip system last season and will irrigate about 400 to 500 acres this season. He said he saw about a 40% reduction in his water use with the system. It's, it's a big deal in Arizona to save water, obviously. And you're saying, what, 40% or was it 70% water 40, savings? So 40%, so we're, we'll be using 60% of what we normally would use. With Indrip being a gravity-fed system, it utilizes a screen at the intake which can be cleaned and reused, but doesn't have any filters and doesn't have the same energy use as a pressurized drip system. Additionally, the Indrip system is seasonal and is intended to be taken out every year and recycled so farmers can still till the land. Indrip is manufactured in Yuma, but now also has a local facility based at the Safford Regional Airport, 1LT Duane Spalsbury Field. Our main yard, our Safford yard, is in the Safford Airport, and it's been a pleasure. It's a great central location. We're uh, new to the valley. There's kind of two sides. You got the east side and the west side, and it's split by the airport or by driving through town. So for us, it's it's nice to be able to go up Airport Road on one side, grab materials, jump down to the other, continue working. That's kind of our receiving yard, right? That's our staging zone. Yeah, all the parts go there, so we can uh, not make as big of a mess when we're out in the field. Most of the cost of the systems being deployed in the Gila Valley have been covered by grants due to the environmental impact of saving water, and Howard's Field have a three-year life cycle. Reporting from Bryce for the Gila Herald, I'm John Johnson.